cleaning up my garage and I found my Pog collection. It's not a very impressive collection. Now you might be saying, what's a Pog? If you're about 40 years old, you may know what a Pog is. If you're much older or much younger than that, you probably have no clue what Pogs are. Uh, it was a fad for about two weeks in the mid-90s. Uh, basically, they're kind of like trading cards, you know, like collecting baseball cards. Do people still collect baseball cards? Anyway, they, they, they have all these different pictures on them. There's these little discs. And then you would get a slammer. I have two slammers here. I have this uh, plastic one with the skull and crossbones on it. And I have this uh, metallic one with a eight ball and a skeleton on it. But basically, uh, if, I, I don't remember. I never actually played the pod. You know, like if you collect baseball cards, there's different games you can play where you flip them over. And if you get a certain color or something, you, you get to keep the other person's cards that they put down. You know, or like marbles, where if you knock someone's marbles out of the ring, you, uh, you get their marble, I guess. I don't know. I've never really did either of those things. But basically, you know, you guys would stock, stack up your pogs, and then you would slam your slammer on it. I think it was called a slammer or smasher or something. And any ones that you get to flip over, you get to keep. I think that, that was basically the gist of it. Like I said, very, very short-lived fad in the mid-90s. Uh, if you were in middle school, like I was, you may have collected some yourself or uh, at least had heard of them. And, uh, and then this was like a little container I would keep my pogs in. So anyway, just a little blast from the past. Anyone else uh, remember pogs? Do you still have your pogs? I'm about to get rid of my pogs. It's, it's been 30 years. I think it's about time to let go.